Greetings to all Mario fans, uh, the Super Mario Bro Wonder is now fully playable into your PC so I'm gonna teach you on how to set up, optimize, play this game into your PC with no issues at all. So first of all what you need is that you'll need to have a copy of all the three files here that I have highlighted in my desktop and also I'm gonna teach you how to get them. You'll also need to install the latest build of user emulator. Uh, for those who don't know what is user emulator, user emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator. It can play Nintendo Switch games into your PC as long as you have all of these three files here installed into your user emulator. And also, I'm going to show you that I have Super Mario Bro Wonder into my user emulator here. And as you can see, I have the game and it is in an XE file format and is almost a 4GB file size game. And by the end of this ritual, you'll see that this game will run perfectly in PC. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get user emulator. And to do that, just open a web browser and just type in Yuzu Emulator and hit search. Now go to yuzuemulator.org. That is their official website. Now go to the download button here. Click on that. And if you have, uh, you can install Yuzu Emulator, I mean, into Windows, Linux, and in Android mobile device. Go to Android here. So if you're interested to play it into your mobile phone, be sure that you have a powerful Android 11 mobile device. You can... Um, install either the free version of yuzu or the early access ver version of yuzu uh, this is true for both pc linux and in android so uh the early access will require you to pay one time but once you have paid that then you will get um early week or two update then the free version but if you can wait a week or two then the free version is fine for you now uh if you're from linux you can get the installer here by clicking on this icon this would be the latest version and if you're from windows all you have to do is just click on the download for windows 64 version button so that you will get the latest version of yuzu emulator so since i have already installed the latest build of yuzu emulator into my pc so i'm just going to skip on this part because the download and installation process for this is really easy to do and is really straightforward and that anyone can do this so go ahead and click on this and download and then install it into your pc and i'm going to minimize this now and i'm going to assume that you have already installed the latest build of user emulator if this is your first installation be sure to boot it up run it now and then you'll be met with certain errors saying that you will need some certain files to be installed into your user emulator before you can play any nintendo switch games so what are those files those files are the three files that i have here these are the nintendo switch keys and a nintendo switch firmware both should be in version 16.1.0 at least in order for it to run and play super mario bro wonder and the game should be in xei or nsp file format so that yuzu emulator will be able to detect and play that game so if you're asking asking me where to get all of these files um the most legal way to do this is that you own a nintendo switch console which you have modded and have installed a custom firmware or it's in homebrew so that once you have uh, installed a custom firmware in it, then you can now fully access your Nintendo Switch system files. Once you have access on that, just uh, copy and um, copy and transfer the keys and all of the firmware files of the Switch into your PC. Now, in order for you to get the game, there's no other way around this, but you should purchase the game legally, own a physical copy of that game or a digital copy wherein you have purchased them from the eShop, and you can now digitally back up that game into an XCI or NSP file format just like that here. So, uh, if you don't have to, if you don't know how to mod or install custom firmware, or you don't have a switch, but don't know where to get all these files here, so I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you how to get them. So in order for you to get them, I'm just going to leave a QR code here in the screen, so be sure to scan with your QR code reader into your mobile phone, so that you'll be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these files. Once you are in the site, be sure to hover down in the middle part of the website so that you'll get the XCI file format of Super Mario Bro Wonder. And once you have a copy of all these files, uh, I mean this file, uh, hover down right below so that you'll get the keys and the firmware file of the Switch. So be sure to check out the entirety of the website so that you'll get all of these three files here. So I'm just going to assume now that you have a copy of all these files and that you have uh, transferred them into your PC just like mine here that I have within the, my desktop. So it's time to install them to your user emulator. So go ahead, open user emulator again, then go to file, go to open user folder and then locate NAND folder, I mean keys folder first. So open that keys folder, then open the keys zip file in the desktop and just copy the product keys and title keys inside and transfer them into this folder. This folder should be empty because it's your first installation. Close in that. Then the next step is to install the firmware file of switch. To do this, just go to file again, open user folder, and then locate NAND folder. Open system folder. 
contents folder, ingested folder. Then open the firmware file in the desktop. Select all the files inside, copy them, and paste them here. And this folder should be empty because this is your first installation. This will copy all of the firmware file of the switch into your user emulator so that your user emulator will function as a Nintendo Switch now. I'm going to close in that. You'll know that installation is successful because it will now detect your Nintendo Switch games and it will show you their game icon. So if you see a game that does not have a game icon, that means that you're using an outdated firmware or an outdated key. So be sure to only follow the QR code that we put in the screen so that you'll only get the latest files so that you'll be able to play Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So the next step now is to optimize your user and layers so that there'll be no drifting, crashes, black screens, or whatever issue that will occur into your gameplay. So to do this, just go to emulation, go to configure, and in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting you see here. So these are my settings for the general tab, settings for my system tab, copy them. Now go to CPU, graphics, now there are two APIs, so just change that. So these are my Vulkan settings, copy that. Open jail settings, copy that. Then go to advanced. So these are my settings here. So be sure to copy them. Then go to audio. Pause the video and copy every setting here. In controls. So I have used my Nintendo Switch Pro controller here. Map them up. And if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation controller, you can connect them here. Map them up according to your liking. But the dead zone for both left and right stick should be set in 20% so that there will be no drifting into your playthroughs. Once done, hit OK and locate Super Mario Bro Wonder again. And we'll have to set a specific setting for this game. And to do this, just go to uh, the click the icon of the game, right click, I mean, then go to properties. And in this part, we will not need the patch a file to fix the issues in Yuzu because uh, the latest version of Yuzu is now capable of playing the game with no issues at all. So go to a system, pause the video, copy every setting here, CPU, graphics. So this are there are changes for this and these settings are specific to Super Mario Bro Wonder. So be sure to copy them. Now go to advanced graphics, pause the video and copy every setting here. Be sure to copy it. Once done, hit OK. Congratulations, your user emulator is now fully optimized to run and play Super Mario Bros. Wonder and uh, with no issues at all, fully optimized to run in 60 FPS. So a little bit of a disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys a gameplay of this game running into my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they don't really like this kind of content to be shown in the internet. So if I showed you gameplay that Super Mario Bros. Wonder is running perfectly in user emulator in 4K resolution too, then my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down. And I hope you guys do understand on that part. But I am willing to compromise a little bit and show you some proof that this video trail of mine is working. So I'm going to boot up the game into the title screen. But once I am in the title screen of the game, I'm just going to stop the emulation from there. And also, I'm just going to blur the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strikes into my channel. And again, please do understand. So I am in the title screen and it runs, so I'm just going to stop here. So um, as long as you follow all the steps that I have shown you in this video trail, you're guaranteed to be able to get these files here. You'll be able to optimize Super Mario Bro Wonder to run perfectly into your PC. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process for Super Mario Bro Wonder, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.